the tape. For tonight's matchup brought to you by Nitro, the official sports supplement of the UFC. Found at Nitro.tv, Eastman is eight years older than Vitor Belfort, who does have a reach advantage in this fight. As he is three inches taller, the weight is not a factor. Will we see Vitor Belfort look like he did against Banderlei Silva? That would be fun. Big John McCarthy will be our referee. All right, here we go, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get off. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, baby. I'm excited about this. Anytime you say Vitor, I'm excited. And look at the beast man. He's Marvin all fired looks like up. he wants to shoot. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like he wants to throw some punches and then shoot in. Vitor sporting a bit of a different look with a mustache and the curly hair. Okay, one thing, he's mixing it up. And if he mixes up his talents, Joe, oh my. And Marvin knows this is a big shot for him, and he's experienced. A lot of Muay Thai competition. Marvin looks very explosive here. They're feeling each other out. If you're thinking the body of Marvin Eastman looks like that of a football player, that's because he was a football player. Many years played in the CFL with the Calgary Stampeders. Now he wants to stampede on Vitor Belfort with a high kick. For a long time, Vitor was just a boxer, but whoa, nice leg kick by Marvin. But uh, he has developed some very good uh, Muay Thai skills, very good leg kicks. Vitor was just he was so enamored with the hands, and he had such great speed. Oh, nice. And now look at that. Oh, and he's down. And down goes Eastman. And Vitor with that great speed. That's the it old is Vitor. Over. It is over. That is the old Vitor. Beautiful. What I was saying, he developed some Muay Thai skills. He clinched. He threw a beautiful Muay Thai knee. That's what rocked Marvin Eastman. And how about the hand speed? of the phenom Vitor Belfort. That's what everyone is scared of when they fight this guy. He's just got unbelievably explosive speed. When he punches, if he hits you once and rocks you, you know 30 more punches are coming in a span of a couple seconds. Very difficult to deal with that. Once he cracks you once, if he's got you rocked, he is the most dangerous striker on the planet. He doesn't swing, wind up, he just goes boom, and you're out. Let's go to the replay and check it out. Let's see that knee. Right there, bang, that rocked him. And he just unloads. He doesn't give you a chance to recover. Oh, the Muay Thai, he had the, he had the back of the neck too, so that was yeah. a direct connection with the knees, and just as you alluded to, partner. Yeah, that's the evolution of his skills. I mean, the guy's obviously in tremendous shape for this. He took the fight with Chuck Liddell on only three weeks notice or four weeks notice. He didn't have a chance to really prepare and peak like as he would like. And he's a sensitive guy. He wants to make sure that he puts out the best effort. And I'm sure that bothered him. He came into this fight just looking to put on a show. And he did. Well, his skills are undeniable. Undeniable. And he just proved again that he has the fastest hands in the Ultimate Fighting Championship today. Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John McCarthy has stopped this contest at one minute and 10 seconds. For the winner, the Phenom, Victor Belfort! Marvin Eason has a huge gash on his head. A huge gash above his eyebrow. I mean, that's one of the nastiest cuts I think I've ever seen. That had to be from that knee. Eddie Bravo with Vitor Belfort. Congratulations, Vitor Belfort. An amazing victory. People always wonder which Vitor is going to show up. The old Vitor or the ground and pound Vitor. Well, tonight, the old Vitor showed up. Take me through the fight. Yeah, first I want to thank Jesus. He changed my life. I'm very happy. Thank you for everybody coming down today. Support the sport. This is very important for us. And I want to thank God. Man, he changed my life. Thank you, Jesus. I want to say, I want to thank my wife too, Joanna, my mother, all my friends in Brazil, Macaco, Luizinho, Leonardo, Tererê, and my pastor, Mauro Silva, and all my friends. You know, all my friends. Thank you. We did it. We did it, Joanna. We did it, Mama. Vitor, We're Vitor. Back. Vitor, take a look at the replay. Take a look at the replay and take us through the fight right here.
Tell me about that knee. Did you time it perfectly or what? Yeah. Like I said, I'm back, man. I just, you know, my strength comes from God, and I train every day now. I want to fight, man. I want to fight. That's all. I want to do my job, and, you know, I want to thank all the UFC, Lorenzo, you know, the president of White. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm thank back. you very much, Vitor. Everybody, put your hands together. Make some noise out there. Oh, yeah. I want to say something. Back to you guys. You know what? I think he said everything he needed to say. And you see the release of the emotion? That's what happens when you are a phenom. When you are expected to be the greatest, that's the type of pressure that's placed upon you. Look and at look cut. at that cut. That is just nasty. That is the nastiest cut I have ever seen in a fight. That is unbelievable. Looks like he got hit with an ax. So Vitor with the victory over Marvin Eastman. We are set for some more great action. Las Vegas, Nevada. Host city for the sixth time to the Ultimate Fighting Championship right here at the Thomas and Mack Center, home of the...